Today we'll be doing a comparison over every single Flare Espresso Maker that you can currently buy from Flare's website as of October 2020. We're going to go over the Flare Neo, the Flare Classic, the Flare Signature, and the Flare Pro 2 and compare what comes with each one and why you should buy one or the other based off of your lifestyle. But before we jump into this video, I ask that you please click the subscribe button and like this video. It'll help me continue to produce more videos and continue to grow my YouTube channel to continue to make videos for you. I also ask that you consider supporting me on Patreon, which is a way that I can continue to buy gear like these flares in the Flare Neo to help continue to produce content for you. I also ask that if you're looking to buy any products, please use the links below in the description where I will make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. So let's just go ahead and dive in to the Flare Espresso Maker. So I want to start with uh, one, a couple different things. Is I want to go with the fact that the case is available and comes with every single Flare except for the Neo. So any Flare that you buy except for the Neo will come with this custom travel carrying case that you can fit in a backpack and pack everything that you have for your Flare in there. The next thing I wanna talk about is the frame of the flare. So what I mean is the frame outside of the drip tray, so what you're getting here. All of the flares, with the exception of the Neo, are the exact same. They might come in different colors, some are copper plated here, and the Pro 2 comes with a little silicone grip and padding on the handle. Outside of that, the quality and the build of the frames are the exact same from flare to flare. Now, one of the key things that makes the difference between all of the flare models compared to the Neo flare base is this little black ring right here. This little black ring represents that this is compatible with the Flare Pro 2 meaning that you can upgrade your Flare to the Flare Pro or you can downgrade your Flare to the Flare Classic, Signature, etc. like that. Occasionally you'll see outside of the Neo, there are some older flares out there that have a different circle base plate. We're not going to get too much into that. You can see some of my other videos that kind of explain that. But there, there is a difference between some of the flare base plates. But as of now, as of uh, October 2020, all of these base plates, of, except for the Neo, are the exact same and should come with a black adapter ring, unless you buy the Pro. Then This basically allows for the standard size group head from the Classic and the Signature and the Neo to be able to fit onto this bigger di diameter of a brewing head to compatible for the Flare, flare, uh, flare Pro 2. The Neo does not come with this in order to save some money and cut down on production costs so it can continue to reach everybody that Flare desires to do. So basically everything is the same outside of color. The Flare Pro 2 has the handle grip and if this black ring is there, you can upgrade it to the Flare Pro 2. Let's move on. We're gonna start with what comes with the Neo. The Neo is the most affordable Flare out there and it comes at the price point of $119, and keep in mind this is as of October 2020, so that price may vary. So what you're getting here is again, outside of the color, is you are getting a flare with a plastic drip tray. You're getting a tamper and dosing funnel, and you're getting a portafilter funnel. This is gonna come standard with all the flares. This helps with uh, just simply tamping your grounds and then also just loading the funnel with coffee grounds so it doesn't spill. This is actually a very, very useful piece. And each, each of these are gonna come standard with the brew head, the portafilter. This is the Flow Control Neo portafilter. I'll get into a little bit difference between this and this upgrade from it. The piston and the dispersion screen that sits right on top of the grounds. So this is what you get with the Flare Neo, just the base and these accessories, no case or anything like that at the price point of 119. The next up there is basically the exact same model. Again, the frame changes a little bit. So this, this frame will come with this little piece right here, which will allow you to upgrade to the Pro later down the road where the Neo is not upgraded to the Pro, but you can upgrade to the classic. 
The only thing that changes on that is you add a case and you add this two-in-one bottomless portafilter. The price jumps up from the Neo of 119 and it jumps all the way up to the price of 159. The reason that this makes a difference between the Neo, this is a two-in-one portafilter, so basically you can do sprouted, or you can see the bottomless style here. I apologize that it is a little dirty. Um, that's the main difference between this. The pressurized flow control that the Neo has is to allow compensation for a poor grind. So the Neo, in other words, is designed for somebody who doesn't have a nice grinder, who doesn't want to finick a lot with their espresso, but just want to be able to pull a shot of somewhat okay espresso and be on their way. This is for somebody who wants to kind of, that has a nice grinder, that's willing to upgrade and learn the challenges and the learning curve that comes with espresso. And it also allows you to diagnose your shot by viewing the bottomless porta filter here. So basically all kind of depends on your lifestyle of whether you'd want to go with the cla the Neo or the Classic. I started off with the Classic and my sister-in-law recently picked up the Neo because she just wanted to do something quick to make an iced vanilla latte. I kind of wanted to make good quality espresso and see the differences in the quality that I make. So I went with this so I could diagnose my shot and because I was willing to invest in the grinder. My sister-in-law uses some pre-ground coffee which works fine for this um, i've tested that a little bit before uh, versus this one i actually have to grind the right setting and this will compensate and give me enough of pressure that i need for espresso even with a coarse setting where this one is you actually have to you have to grind correctly to get the right time out and to get pressure that qualifies for espresso so going off of that you can always buy this neo piece separately from flare so Almost always, if you think you might be going into espresso, I would start off with getting the classic and purchasing this Neo piece as well. The reason for that is because eventually over time you can upgrade and you can upgrade everything that you need to get the Flare Pro 2 without having to buy another base. Versus if you started with a Neo and think you might want a little bit more into it later down the road, you would have to buy all brand new Flare versus just upgrading some pieces. For somebody who is just wants to get coffee quickly as possible, doesn't really care about quality, is going to put a lot of sugar and stuff in it, the Neo is the way to go. It's great. It does what it says it's going to do. But if you are one of the people who really wants to get an espresso and make quality shots, if you are going to a third wave coffee shop, getting beans that are roasted within two day, two weeks and trying to drink them all before that, then you're definitely going to want to go with the classic and then maybe start with that Neo piece and work your way up from there. Moving on from the classic jumps you up to the flare signature. So you're going to move up again. This is all that you get for the 159 price plus this carrying case and the flare base. I'm going to leave that up there now. So this is the flare, the flare classic right here to upgrade to 229 or sorry, 239. So one from 160 for the classic to 239 for the signature. This is the differences that you get with this. You get a two-in-one metal stainless steel drip tray. Honestly, that's not obviously gonna affect your shot quality very much, but it does make your flare look a lot nicer. You're also going to get this. This is a pressure gauge, and the reason why this is important is it allows you to see how much pressure you're putting on there. It allows you to see if your grind is too coarse or too fine by based off of how much pressure you're putting on there. Versus without this and using this little piston here, you aren't able to tell how much pressure you're putting on there. I first started off with just the classic, the classic model and eventually got upgraded to the pressure gauge and I could see the difference in the quality from my shots instantly as soon as I started using that. And it made my shots that I thought were good made me realize I was doing so much wrong with it. So you simply just drop this little metal thing at the top here, fill up your water and then put your pressure gauge on like that. So you're gonna get the pressure gauge, you're gonna get the two-in-one drip tray, and you're also gonna upgrade to a stainless steel tamper that fits the diameter of the flare perfectly. This is the pro tamper, so it's not gonna fit. Um, but that's this is exactly what it's gonna look like. And it's gonna perform well, so you're going up from 160 to 230. 
So the 160 is maybe somebody who has a decent grinder right off the bat and just doesn't even want to mess with the Neo. This one is for somebody who has the extra money and is really, really wants to get good quality shots. All of this stuff is going to, outside of the drip tray, all of this stuff is going to help you improve dramatically. Moving on from here, so you got the, the Neo, which would be all of this. There we go. All of this right here outside of the case for 120. You got the classic, which will be switching out that Neo piece for this and adding the case for 160. You have the signature where you add the pressure gauge, the tamper, and the drip tray for 230. And now here's the big one. You're gonna remove all of this stuff outside of the drip tray. So we're gonna get rid of the Neo pieces. All of this, we're gonna keep the frame still. Again, remember all of this has the same frame as the beginning. And we are gonna add this brew head, this portafilter, new funnel, pressure gauge, sprout and dispersion screen. So right off the bat, this is the top of the line that Flare currently makes. It's a bigger diameter of a portafilter, uh, which means it's easier, a little harder to press, but it makes getting rid of the grounds out of the portafilter easier. It produces better quality shots. You have more control over the amount of liquid you can fit in the cylinder, the amount of grams of coffee you can fit in the portafilter. Right off, I wanna start with this portafilter. This portafilter is incredibly nice. This portafilter is manufactured at the same place VST baskets are manufactured. VST baskets are some of known as some of the best quality uh, coffee baskets that you can buy for espresso. Basically, the basket is all of these little holes in there. It's kind of a little bit hard to see. You can see it from the little bottom. All of these little holes. If you would take a standard VST basket and compare it with a non-VST basket and zoom in super, super quickly or super, super deeply, like more so than you could ever see in the eye, the VST baskets would be similar to these clear cut holes that you would see on this frame versus a non-VST basket is almost kind of going to look like a cloud shape where there's going to be a lot of little imperfections on each circles, which affects the extraction of your shot. So that alone, this VST basket is a huge, huge thing for the flare. This is the one, one of the best baskets that you can buy for a commercial machine is available for you on a cheap price point for Flare. The Flare Pro 2 is coming in at 309. You get the stainless steel tamper. You get this clip-on sprout. So you have this nice bottomless portafilter. So you can diagnose your shots. You can see if things are spraying. But you have this simple clip-on sprout, and you can even buy a double sprout thing that clips onto this so you can pull in two different shots of espresso. And this is currently the only flare model that you can do that with. You have this heat cap right here. So you simply just clip this to the bottom of the brew head and you can fill up and preheat this brew head. The hotter you have it, the better shot you are going to have with it. So basically, there's a heck of a difference between the 239 to the 209 price point from the signature to the Pro 2. You're going from 239 to 309. Hands down, I thought it was worth it. I've, as you can see, I've owned every single flare out there. I've used the Neo, I've used the Classic, I've used the signature, I use the Flare Pro 2 on a regular basis. It's got the pressure gauge, it has everything that you need to diagnose your shots and make good quality espresso. With this and with comparing all of these parts and starting from the classic, working my way up and getting the bottomless portafilter, the pressure gauge, and then working my way up to getting the Flare Pro 2, I liked that method a lot. It was way less overwhelming when I started without the pressure gauge and built up and got a better quality grinder to now I can make amazing shots. I can know exactly what I'm doing. I have had the practice. I've had the experience. I have the things that make me notice 
quite a bit different. This is also right here, this is a temperature strip that you can buy from Flare that helps you know how preheated and how hot your cylinder is. I would recommend regardless of the Flare that you pick up, just go ahead and pay an extra $5 and order this directly from Flare as well and just stick it onto whatever, whatever Flare that you buy. But overall, there's not a single Flare that is a bad choice to buy. It really just kind of depends on your budget. If this Neo is all you can afford, and this is gonna get you in the start of espresso, I think you could be happy with it. If you're expecting perfect, great shots with it, you're gonna be disappointed. But if you expect to get decent quality shots, if you are just, just want coffee quickly, this'll get the job done. This will do a good job. You don't have to mess with the finickiness of a grinder and dialing in your espresso. If you have a little bit more money, you really want to take this and make this a hobby. Getting that upgraded to the classic for the 159 and getting the travel case, which is a nice little add-on. I can literally throw this flare in my backpack with my MacBook, my iPad, and a couple books and carry it wherever I need to carry. It makes my backpack a little heavy, but it's doable. Having this to diagnose your shots and really, really getting into it and viewing what you're doing right and wrong was a huge add-on. It was a huge game changer, and it's just enjoyable to see the flow coming out of a bottomless portafilter versus the, the standard sprouted one. Going up to the signature and adding this pressure gauge and the stainless steel stamper is just a huge thing. Having pressure, knowing that you're pulling a bar at six, you're pulling a shot of espresso at six bars versus nine bars, you can definitely maybe start to understand and experience the difference. Mess with putting fusion at two bars and then ramping up to six and then slowing ramping down. There's just a lot of different variables that this allows you to see and experience that you don't get without a pressure gauge. And this having the having the ability to do smaller gram baskets to out up to 24 grams this allows, allows you to mess with your dose a lot. You can't fit 20 grams, you can't fit 18 grams in these standard things. So you have to make a little bit smaller shot than an average machine would. Typically, a lot of cafes will do 18 grams of coffee to 36 grams of espresso coming out. If this can't, this cannot fit that much, I'm typically around 15, 16 grams in one of these, Versus I can do 20, 22, 24, 18 and pull great shots with this and basically follow the recipe that I would see at a cafe based off of time, pre-infusion, all of this. This gave me a lot, a lot of way to go. Like I couldn't tell you the difference of the quality of espresso that I would have drank from the standard, the standard setup with the piston and this portafilter versus the time experience of effort and learning to using a pressure gauge and the VST bigger basket. The shot quality is day and night difference. But it's one of those things, espresso takes a lot of time and development to get to where you wanna be. You're not gonna be pulling great shots every single day. You're gonna to have to mess with dialing in, getting your recipe set, seeing what tastes good, seeing what doesn't. and having the pressure gauge, having this really, really makes it well worth it. If you have the money and you have the time and you're willing to invest in a good grinder, buy the Pro. If you're not willing to invest in a good grinder, I would go toward the Neo and maybe upgrade from there down the road once you're willing to put some money toward the Neo. But if you're willing to invest time and money into your Pro by buying a nice grinder and be willing to work with the process and practice and dial in your shots and taste some awful shots in the process, you will be happy with the results of these. I've taken this to good quality third wave coffee shops that were local and it was amazed they were amazed at the shots that this flare pulled out from this flare two bottomless portafilter. So I'd really encourage you to pick up a flare. I've been using it since near the beginning. I've had it for years and it's it's been a great asset to my kitchen. It's been a great daily routine and there hasn't been a single thing that I've bought that Flare has released that I regret buying. Everything has been great and they continue to improve over time. So that's my thoughts on the Flare lineup. 
Again, the Neo is currently at 119 with the all plastic accessories, no case, and the flow control porta filter. Then you're upgrading to the case and the two in one classic porta filter at 159. At 230, you're adding the pressure gauge and the stainless steel tamper right here. And then you get the drip tray. I made a mistake earlier on. The drip tray only comes with the Pro. The stainless steel drip tray comes with the Pro and you're getting a bigger diameter and all the other things. It's up to you what you can afford, but it's well worth it. You're also getting the gripped handle. But the most important thing and the biggest confusion part of all flares is the Neo is not upgradable all the way to the Pro because of this diameter of a brew head. So you can only upgrade to the pressure gauge and the two-in-one portafilter from the Pro. As you can see, it sits on there. But So this is the standard size of the Neo right here. And as you can see, when you take the Pro portafilter, it does not fit very well on that Neo base and it will cause damage to it. So you need to get the Flare Classic if you ever want to upgrade to the Pro. So if, you're, if you want to start slow, I'd always recommend the Flare Classic and simply buying this flow control piece and that gives you all the possibilities with a Flare. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and write them and I'm pretty good and pretty quick at getting back to them. And remember to please subscribe and continue to support me as a YouTuber. If you're looking at buying a flare or anything else, go ahead and use one of the links below where I'll make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. Thank you for watching.